everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marisa from Choosing Bliss. As we embark on a new year, I wanted to share my process for choosing and journaling my word of the year. So this year, my word is abundance. Choosing a word of the year is a great way to set an intention or theme to guide us through the next 12 months. When pondering what my word should be this year, Abundance just kept coming into my mind. I believe it encompasses a few different aspects of life that I want to focus on. First, it makes me think of cultivating abundance in my relationships with family, friends, and community. I hope to be more present in giving of my time and energy to nurture those connections. Second, I want to foster a mindset of abundance when it comes to creativity and inspiration. Rather than scarcity, where I might feel creatively blocked, I aim to tap into the infinite well of ideas all around me. And finally, abundance makes me reflect on gratitude. I want to appreciate the blessings in my life rather than taking things for granted. Gratitude shifts your mindset so you notice abundance rather than lack. As I was pondering what abundance means to me, I came across a great podcast by Bo Sanchez that discussed about abundance or this topic. The title of the episode is Hustle Talk 1, Head, How to Live in God's Abundant Universe. I'll add the link of the specific podcast episode in the description box below in case you're interested. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to do my first abundance creative journaling session with you. I'll document some of my key learnings from the podcast and do a little brain dump about what abundance means to me. Join me as we kickstart our journals with intention for the year ahead. Same as last year, I'll be using my Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee Standard Traveler's Notebook leather cover to keep all my creative journals together in one place. The warm caramel hue and soft leather cover has developed a beautiful patina over time, which I really like. I love that the Traveler's Notebook system allows me to mix and match different inserts and refills to customize my setup. For today's journaling session, I'll be using a Traveler's Notebook 002 Grid Insert or Refill by the Traveler's Company. This refill features pages ruled into 5mm squares, making it easy to write, draw shapes, and paste photos. It has 64 pages. The paper used for this refill is called MD Paper. The paper makes the ink hard to stain and sink through the other side so it goes very well with fountain pens as well. I like attaching the packaging label inside the back cover of the notebook so I can remember what insert I'm currently using whenever I open this notebook. It keeps me organized as, as, as I swap various insert refills in and out of the leather cover. Now I'll be decorating my page using some font supplies to highlight my word abundance. First, I'll use this Primo Marketing Vintage Emporium Cling Stamp Set 
with a versifying clear ink in morning mist shade, which is a pretty gray shade of water-resistant ink. This alphabet set has a whimsical floral design that I think pairs nicely with the theme abundance. Since the letters are quite large, I'll stamp the word vertically down the right side of the page. I love watching the letters take shape one by one. Next, I'll add a banner stamp from the same cling stamp set. I'll position it near the top center of the page. The banner has an elegant vintage design which I really like. To add a pop of subtle pastel color, I'll use this Tumbo brush pen in shade number 850 to shade inside the banner stamp. The Tumbo brush pens have a soft, flexible felt tip that creates a beautiful blended color. Shade 850 is a light peachy pink that I think pairs nicely with our theme. I'll use loose sweeping strokes to shade the inside of the banner to create a watercolor effect. The brush pen glides smoothly across the page. The brush and color gives the banner a lively organic feel compared to just leaving it stamped in black ink. The soft pink provides just a hint of color without overwhelming the page. It works with the palette of the floral stamps in a gentle, harmonious way. Now I'm going to write the heading Word of the Year inside the banner using a Zebra Sarasa Clip black pen. The 0.7mm tip glides smoothly across the page and the jet black ink flows evenly and dries quickly without smearing. I'm writing in print letters so that the heading stands out clearly. Seeing those meaningful words, word of the year, typed out in my own handwriting helps make 2024 feel like a blank canvas filled with potential. The black ink contrasts beautifully with the soft pink brush background. My heading provides a visual anchor for the journaling that will come next. Next, I'll add 2024 under the banner stamp using this Yosogo rubber stamp figure set number 00. The set comes with individual rubber stamps for each number 0 to 9 in a nice clean font. Finally, I'll be adding a pretty floral accent using the sticker from Pepin Press, Floral Label Stickers and Tapes Booklet. I chose one of the large floral designs because it reminds me of abundance and growth. I decided to fussy cut out just the flowers from the label using the steam halt scissors. 
I'll position the floral sticker at the bottom left part of the page. To add another decorative layer, I'll use this classic, classic -y vertical line washi tape with a minimalist design. I'll position the washi tape beneath the floral sticker. This makes the floral pop off the page even more. The linear lines also add some visual interest while still letting floral stand out. I love how a simple sticker and a strip of washi tape can take a page to the next level. The floral represents the blossoming abundance I hope to cultivate this year, and the clean lines help contain my intention within the greed. It's so fulfilling to decorate and visually bring my word of the year to life. Next comes the actual journaling and writing process. Now that I have the page decorated with my intention in mind, I'm ready to reflect and write out my thoughts using this Kaweka Sport fountain pen with the Lamy dark blue ink. don't need to overthink the writing. I'll let the words flow naturally straight from the heart, and I don't have to worry about structure or cohesion. This journaling time is so important to process insights and ground my intention in tangible words. The act of writing helps make my word of the year feel real and actionable. As I journal about my word abundance today, I want to reflect on some great insights I learned from the podcast. First, true abundance comes from following God, not material things. It's so easy to equate abundance with money only and think that more money equals more abundance. But abundance is so much more than that. While financial abundance can certainly be part of God's blessings, I cannot let the pursuit of money compromise my relationships, health, inner peace, or purpose. True abundance comes when I keep God at the center of my life, not money or possessions. Second, abundance is not measured by money but by gratitude. I love this insight. Like when I open my eyes each day and thank God for His blessings, a roof over my head, food on the table, people who love me, I cultivate abundance. My contentment is, is not based on circumstances but on perspective. I learned that gratitude shifts me out of fear and scarcity thinking. Whenever I complain about what I lack, I, relay, I realize that I'm cutting off God's hand of provision. But when I thank God for what I have already, I make room for more of His miracles and abundance. Gratitude opens the floodgates of heaven and it's a spiritual secret for living abundantly. And finally, God's abundance is meant to be shared. When He blesses me, it's not just for me, but to bless others through me. Abundance flows into me and then flows outward when I generously give my time, talents, and resources to help and inspire others. I'll close by writing a short prayer of gratitude, inviting God to, gi to guide me towards deeper abundance this year in all aspects of my life. And that wraps up my first journaling session for my Word of the Year, Abundance. 
I'm feeling so motivated and excited for the potential that 2024 holds. Let me know in the comments if you've chosen a word of the year and what it is. I'd love to hear the words guiding others this year. Choosing a meaningful word sets the tone and gives us something to reflect back on. Whatever your word may be, I hope you take some time to thoughtfully journal about it like we did today. Make the process your own with decorations, creative expression, and introspection. Wishing you all an abundant year filled with growth, insights, and blessings. Remember to focus on gratitude because it is the gateway to living abundantly. Let's make 2024 our best year yet. Thank you so much for watching. 